and good morning everybody this is Paul Carpenter and this is day three of Think and Grow Rich with Napoleon Hill um, and uh, this is auto suggestion so the question really is what is auto suggestion Paul well I tell ya <laughs> alright so auto suggestion is uh, basically and simply the idea of one hypnotizing themselves now you might ask what is hypnosis now so hypnosis really is the idea of uh, basically being told something in a repetitive fashion and accepting that uh, suggestion now how can that happen that can happen in a bunch of different ways for instance um, they say that if you hear something in your uh, if you hear something 80 times in one month you'll never forget it so many advertising companies use that in their favor as a way of auto suggestion kind of get the idea so the idea here now is that we started to understand uh, over the course of understanding this book um, that everything that we do is based on what we think in our mind it's repeated over and over and over again in the book. I think in the first uh, first chapter, it even says somewhere in the first pages of this book, or even at the very end, you will find the answer. And that's the answer. The answer is to have a repetitive mantra, if you will, that goes into your heart, that, uh, that pierces it with emotion, and, 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 and has something that... Uh, that just it just feeds into it and nothing can stop it that's what this is that's what this is trying to create within your mind because once you create that vibration right once you create that vibration in your mind nothing can stop you nothing can stop you so where are we let's see okay um auto suggestion we need to come up with some things. We need to find out what's wrong with us that we want to make better. That could be anything. That could be uh, wanting to quit smoking. That could be wanting to uh, eat better. That could be wanting to have better health and working out. That could be wanting to read more books. That could be anything. Anything. I promise you. So what is it that you have to do? Well, first of all, you have to find the thing that you want to change, right? So that's cool. And uh, you want to write it down. A lot of this stuff is about writing it down, not just thinking it and saying it, but actually applying your hand in, your, in a piece of paper and actually seeing the creation of what you're saying, of what you're thinking, okay? So you have this now beautiful concept here where you've written down the thing that you want to change. Once you know what that thing is, you can now rework the wording. So many times what happens is people are like, oh, um, I really hate that I'm a smoker. And I always say, well, let's try it like this. Uh, how about um, I'm working on smoking less so I can feel better. Okay. Now, you take that, you write it down. And you say it a couple times a day and you just start repeating it and repeating it and repeating it and repeating it until it becomes a thought that you cannot stop thinking about. And every time you go to smoke a cigarette, every time you go to grab some food, that uh, bleh, it just pops in. This is the idea of auto-suggestion. You've done this to yourself. You've done this to yourself in so many different ways in your life already why not do it to go in this direction so let's kind of recap a little bit to get you up to speed if you're just now catching up uh, if not go back to day one learn about uh, napoleon hill a little bit of uh, what's going on second day and uh, third day which is once again today all right so um uh the idea here uh we're going to catch you up is uh first we need to have a definiteness of purpose. The second thing we need to have is faith that that thing will be accomplished. And the third thing now that we have to have is what's called auto-suggestion. So with those tools alone, 
with even any one of those tools, but with just those three tools alone, you can now start to build something amazing in your mind. And you have to understand something. You have to really understand something. And I really want to I want to try and part this as much as I can. This has worked for anybody who's ever tried to do it. I don't know if this was what I've been trying to figure it out and we'll figure it out one day. But this really is um, something that, that, that it's amazing guys. It, it, it really works. If you just work it to work it, it works. If you work it to work it, it works. It really does. So, um, first you think it, then you, you actually implement it and then you go do it. So first you think it, then you build it, then you do it, but you got to do it in that order. And, um, and this is, the, this is the order. This is the order for anybody who's out there. Who's like, I don't know how to do it. I don't know what's going on. This is the order. Anybody who's famous, anybody who's, uh, rich, anybody who's a businessman, anybody who's anything, really people who are in sports, people who are in business, people who are in marketing, people, they all use this book. They all use it. Why? Because it, it, it really, the guy spent his whole entire life to get this information. It makes sense. It really makes sense. So let's get back into auto suggestion now, okay? Uh, since I got you caught up, we're back in. Here we go. So, what are some of the things that you can do that are auto suggestion based, right? Is it just writing down information? And, uh, and, and repeating it over again. Yeah. Yes and no. So yes, part of it is that, but the other part of it is the actual action of yourself doing it. And once again, your brain doesn't know the difference between what you do physically and what you think in your head with your eyes closed. So let's pretend, let's just pretend that you're going to pretend that you have whatever it is that you already want, whether it's a car or whether it's some kind of uh, famous uh, thing or whatever it is you want. Maybe it's a, a toy. Maybe it's a, a bicycle. Doesn't matter. Whatever it is that you're thinking of, right? And you really want that thing. I want you to use the idea of auto suggestion to tell yourself that you already have that thing that you can envision yourself driving that thing, being on that bicycle. And believe it or not, that's how it works. So the more you start to think about it, the more your subconscious mind will make that happen around you. But you have to go out and start to really grab at it, like dig at the hole to make it kind of sprout that water. Does that make sense? So, Today was day three of this entire thing that I've been doing, which is thinking grow rich. So I've been doing this now for, let's see, we have uh, 33 days now. Uh, and uh, it's been a ride. Uh, we're on our way to 12 more days of this, and then we'll be done with thinking grow rich. We did 45 days of thinking grow rich. We have written down our definiteness of purpose which uh, was in number one. Go check that out. Then we dealt with faith and having faith to accomplish our goal, the definiteness of purpose. And then now three, we are into auto-suggestion and really getting in to creating it in our mind by repeating it over and over again, right? Okay. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little process of what I've been doing. Please, if you can, like, share, and subscribe. Send these out uh, to friends and family, people who you think might like this. You never know. There might be somebody who could change, who could be happier, could feel like, hey, man, this did something for me. And I hope it does. My friends, go out there and do something really good in the world. Uh, if you can for somebody else. If you can't, do something good for somebody else. Uh, I mean, do something good for yourself. Uh, and please, go out there and kick ass and take initials because you don't have time for the names. This is Paul Carpenter with MentallyHip.com. I hope you've enjoyed this because I've enjoyed giving it to you. My friends, we'll see you later. Have a great day.